Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on FaceSwap Online, which is an online compositor with which you can create cool face swaps. Let me show you a few examples. So here you've got a Donald of Arabia, Donald Clinton, and Hillary Trump. These faces were created by Jason Forty on the FaceSwapOnline.com website. And you can check more of his work, you'll find the link in the description section. And here's one that I created. I took this public domain image of Donald Trump and one of Hillary Clinton and created a Donald Clinton. I've used other face swap apps that can do this faster, but not all of them produce good results like this. Here's an example of one that I created using another face swap app, but as you can see, the one on the left looks much better. So let me show you how to create your own face swaps. So this is the home page of the face swap online website. In the compositor section is where you can create the face swaps. At the time of recording this video, I'm told that the compositor is not fully functional on mobile devices, but I believe a new version is upcoming with improvements. It has a very simple user interface, as you can see. There are two buttons here, File and Insert. You start off with the Insert button in order to upload your images. You can upload your images from your computer, or a hosted image using the URL. You can also add text to create memes if you wish. Let me start by uploading an image from my computer. I'll choose this Donald Trump image and I'll place it on the canvas. So this becomes your base image. I will then upload another image of Hillary Clinton. This image is now superimposed over the earlier one of Donald Trump. Next, if you click on the image, you will notice a toolbar up top. It has a lasso tool, a layering tool, a flipping tool, reset filter tool, and remove button. And down below, there are a few sliders for adjusting the hue, saturation, brightness, and contrast. Let's start with the lasso tool. So once you click on it, it's activated, and you can isolate a specific section of the image like so. So now we're left with only the cutout portion of Hillary's face over top of Donald Trump's image. We can then adjust the position and size of the cutout by dragging the handles like so, and then use the sliders below to blend in the cutout with the main image in the background. But you can still use these edit points to fine tune it like so as well as the feather slider at the bottom to blend it even more. I made a few more adjustments, but this is what I ended up with. Not bad at all, right? So once you're happy with the face swap, you can click on this file button and then download it to your computer as an image. But that's it. There you have it, a Donald Clinton face swap. Well, hope you found this video useful. Feel free to check other reviews of free online resources on my YouTube channel, and thanks for watching!